What's going on guys? Today's review is going to be on a Kydex holster and a magazine pouch from Ted Corey. He has an eBay store and I'll put the link in the description for you guys so you can swing by and pick these up. Uh, I've been dealing with Ted Corey for about a year now and I've had five or six holsters from him. This one is going to be for the Smith & Wesson M&P Bodyguard uh, with also the Crimson Trace laser. He also makes this one for uh, the bodyguard without the laser and he also does some other popular ones with, uh, with the LCP if you want to put a laser on he can make a holster for you and uh, a couple others but these holsters uh, they're single clips he always uses foamy clips on them they come with a 1.5 uh, inch clip and I think he also now he's offering a, a 1.75 clip if you need it uh, for me I run the 1.75 clip I use a Maverick uh, Assaulter's belt, which is uh, about the same size, about 1.75, 2 inches, so it works out really great for me. The magazine pouch, he also is the 1.5 foamy clips. Uh, all the Kydex is .08, and he does a really good job of polishing and edging all the edges and uh, the sides of them. I've actually gotten cut on a couple other uh, people's holsters, but... Uh, they're really smooth, really great lines, and uh, it's just overall I've, I've just really liked these holsters, and uh, especially for the little guns, they're they're kind of hard to find, or especially they're hard to make for the manufacturer, and their lead times can get a little ridiculous. Uh, I've had friends wait almost three, four months for holsters, and uh, Ted Corey, I've never waited more than a probably five days to my door. Uh, his lead times are really great. Even if you want to get a custom holster made from him, it's, I think the most is about probably 10 days. Um, he does also, this is the, the graphite style. He also does a straight black, uh, an FDE, an OD green, and uh, some other, some skulls. And I think he does a pink one. But, yeah, I've always liked the just the retention on the on these holsters. They ride really nice and low, uh, but you can still get a full full grasp on them to pull them out. And uh, I've never liked any other bigger holsters like the Crossbreeds or the Alien Gears with their soft tucks or the the big paddle holsters. Kind of uh, what's great about these if I actually go into some place that that doesn't allow carry. Just pull the whole thing off, throw it in the glove box, and I'm good to go, and it slides right back on. I don't have to undo my belt to try and put this big piece of leather back in my pants. Uh, I don't, just don't like that. This is great. It's I'm more of a minimalist, so this does really work. Uh, on all these, you know, just uh, the cover of the trigger guard is really great. He doesn't have any extra... Kydex, uh, you know, like some of those uh, big box brands like Galco, they just had there's huge blocks, uh, they're just really ugly. But these are nice and streamlined. I mean, there's really no extra Kydex hanging over. It's just, it's really good, and uh, really can't say enough about it. It's got uh, retention holes or retention screws here, so you can adjust the tension. A lot of people use the rivets and they're just, uh, that's how you get them. And also he has a retention screw on the, uh, the magazine uh, pouch. The magazine pouch is done really well also. Uh, you can take out these clips, like I probably said before. Uh, there's good grommets on them. Uh, they're really tough and I've never had any issues with, with anything he's made uh, in the ways of coming off or breaking. And I, I beat the beat these up pretty good, but I have it pretty loose. Uh, if you want to wear, I think these are made for outside the waistband, so it is bullets forward. But uh, it's got really good retention. I have it a little loose, but it's still it's not going anywhere. And uh, you know, I think I've tried this on inner waistband before, and it's fine too. I can do mag changes out, you know, bolts forward, bolts backwards. It doesn't really bother me at all. 
And uh, this one, this one's pretty tight. I have it. But uh, if it's in my, you know, if it's on my person and attached to my belt, it's pretty easy to, to undo. You can tighten them, loosen them, do whatever you want with them. But uh, I think this as a kit is with the holster and the magazine pouch is $75 with, I think, free shipping. He also does just holsters and they run about $45 or $50 for buy it now. And then uh, he'll do auctions once in a while. You can, you know, try and pick them up a little, little cheaper if you don't get in a bidding war with someone. But if you're looking for a, a really nice holster that's it's not going to be bulky or bulge on you, uh, I would definitely check these out. He also makes, and this one has the, well, all these have the safety. But on uh, a lot of his mega or a lot of his holsters, he'll do uh, like for the Glock uh, holsters that I have, he has the extended slide uh, releases already molded into them so you're good to go on that if uh, you ever decide to put any upgrades on your guns he makes uh, the holster is pretty much already ready for you and uh, I would I'm just gonna keep buying his holsters and because <laughs> uh, I like them that much all right well that's a quick review thanks a lot guys